Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. We're going back to the Vintage Collection with one of the newest releases, Ark Commander Cult, part of the uh, 20th anniversary of Clone Wars uh, in the Vintage Collection. Is number 276. Yeah, I've just got the uh, pack Cal Kestis box there just to hold up the card. You can have a good look at it. We have had this character before in the Clone Wars line back in, I want to say 20, 2012. In early 2012, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, that was probably the only one of those art troopers that I got in the Clone Wars because I never got um, Havoc or the other one that's about to come out. We're about to get another one, um, the third one, Blitz. The, the yellow, yellow one, so really excited to have this guy as well in his sort of realistic realistic look I may have to move that card back because it's one of, the camera's going to want to keep picking up on that and trying to focus but yeah, really, really nice, and again, these ARC troopers are absolutely killing it I recently got the Umbra trooper um, you know, they're all repaints of each other, but I don't care because they look so good. Um, again, he comes with his pistols. There's no real difference in uh, look, um, sorry, with the weapons. He comes with the two pistols, uh, the longer DC-15 and the, the DC-15 blaster, which again, I love the feature of it being able to peg onto the backpack there. Um, the one with the, the Umbra arc uh, trooper that I got, it doesn't really hold in there as well like that so you know there are some slight differences in the molds some are a little bit looser it could be the weapons um but yeah this guy's really really nice and i wish i had my animated version on hand to do a little bit of a comparison but that's okay i'll have to wait but yeah love the got love this one's colors um i'll make a point of Pretty much straight away, I always glue the, the sort of art trooper pauldrons and chest armor and backpack onto the figure. They just they come loose and uh, yeah, they just don't sit right. So I tend to um, glue them on straight away. All right, let me take the helmet off and get a look. would like to focus that'd be fantastic there we go now this is the head they should have used for Captain Rex <laughs> instead they gave Rex a nice sort of poof of blonde blonde hair whereas this one you know they should have just done the blonde look with this head so if you if you're looking to replace your your Rex um, I'm talking the Bad Batch one that came in the four pack um, and just yeah if you if you're not to, if you're a little bit handy with a paintbrush, you could uh, easily just use use this head, swap it out. And you know, if you're going to keep the helmet on, it probably doesn't matter too much anyway. But yeah, really nice head sculpt there, very much, very much Tim Morrison there. And yeah, that's you know, arguably better than some of the Black Series head sculpts we've seen. They've just absolutely nailed that one. It looks fantastic. And yeah, like I said, the helmet does slot on nicely. The rangefinder does move up and down, which is fantastic. So I'm trying to play catch up with some of the ARC Troopers. There's the Lambent Seeker. Um, and there was the other one from Battlefront, which I missed. So I'm on the hunt for those. Like I said, I got the Umbra. Umbra Art Commander a few weeks ago. Found that for 20 bucks. Uh, local Toy Fair, so I'm trying to complete the Arc Troopers. It's because I know they're going to be um, highly sought after one day. Again, loving this guy. I don't know, I think it's just got, I have a little bit of nostalgia with the uh, animated version, so it's nice. I'd really look forward to having them side by side and seeing if there's any any differences. You know, I think they pretty much pretty much nailed it. I just love the, the contrast between the reds and the greys. 
you know, we've there's not much variation between these these figures. Hasbro is certainly making use of the molds, which you know, for the most part, I'm okay with. I'm getting some good individual characters out of it. And yeah, definitely fill up the uh, the Clone Wars shelf nicely. But yeah, did get havoc. It must have been a couple of months ago now. So yeah, we'll probably won't be too far away, and Blitz will be out. And then we'll see where they go with the uh, Arc Trooper molds after that. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a this is a cool figure. I look forward to displaying him for a little while. Yeah, be back with some more very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.